Folks, how many times have you heard something uh, to the effect of this? God can't be real because for thousands of years, you guys keep saying he's going to come back soon. And you've even been saying that he's going to judge us. And yet nothing has happened. He hasn't judged the world. All the things we read about in the book of Revelation, all the apocalyptic things that are going to happen have not happened yet. So therefore God can't be real because this sounds like one big hustle and it's been happening for thousands of years and nothing has actually happened. Now to that, I will just simply make one blatant statement and then I'll get into what I'm I'm about to talk about and that is that is a bogus and foolish argument to say that people have been saying things for years and years and years and years and that's why it can't be true because it hasn't happened yet is baloney because God said that it would happen the way it happened and that we needed to be looking for signs and as we have been looking for signs throughout the years we have been observing signs that have not happened anywhere in human history ever that we know of, which would seem to give us an indication that Jesus is, of course, coming a lot sooner than we think. The reestablishment of the nation of Israel, what's going on geopolitically in the Middle East, when you look at Russia and what's happening with them growing in power, even though they're doing things that are widely unpopular, when you look at what's going on in the Baltics, when you look and see what's happening in Eastern and Western Europe, when you examine everything that's taken place, folks, Jesus is indeed coming soon. And the last front that I believe we have had to protect good against evil, a la the United States of America, is also beginning to go down very, very quickly. And the reality of that centers around the fact that because American citizens have embraced tyrannical behavior for this recent time, it is an effect of the fact that they've turned their back on the Lord far before that time. And as a result, we're seeing the things that we're seeing. God's judgment is getting shed upon the whole world and it's happening sooner than we think. Now in today's story on Sunday, we are going to be talking about Christ going to certain towns and actually cursing them, uh, proclaiming judgment upon them and that actually taking place. Now I think that it is absolutely appropriate for Father's Day because the reality of what we are going to be facing in the near future is can actually be affected in a way that brings a, 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 a sort of a, a salvation in ways, right? The salvation of Christ through the actions of fathers training their children up in the ways of the Lord. And when I reflect upon my father, the one thing that I always remembered about my dad is the fact that when he said he was going to discipline us, he always did. Even though we thought that it wasn't going to happen because it was deferred, he always did it. And now he's with the Lord. He understands the reality of that happening. And so as we look at the monumental task in front of us as fathers to be able to stand up for the things of righteousness, knowing that God's judgment is inevitable, we need to lean in on what the word of God says about how we do it. Now, I can just be the first to admit that this seems to be monumentally difficult. This seems to be something that is going to be terribly hard to do in raising our kids in the ways of righteousness when the world has gone completely mad. But Jesus, in this same passage that we're going to go over today, tells us to take on his yoke, that his burden is light. And if you have never heard this taught the way it was intended to be taught, I'm just going to warn you right now, it will radically change your life. And for you fathers that are facing the difficult task of having to raise children in a time like this, you are going to find the answer and the encouragement on this very powerful Father's Day. You're going to be blown away. It's my first Father's Day without my earthly father. And I'm leaning in more than I ever have on my heavenly father. So I think you're going to be blessed with what has to be said. If you are watching this after Father's Day, the link to this message is going to be tied uh, right to this video. And I think you're going to be absolutely blessed. You will be tremendously encouraged in knowing that God's judgment is coming, but there is grace and salvation and there is a way out. And for those of you fathers, you are a monumental part of this. Let's get on it. Happy Father's Day, by the way. We love you, fathers, and we know how valuable you are. My father made a difference in my life, and I know for a fact that you are making a difference in your children's lives. It's never too late. Keep looking to the Lord. We love you guys. God bless you.